game. Uh, my name is Kwame, and I'm here with uh, our head coach, uh, Coach Gohan. Uh, uh, I don't know if... That was, that was going to be my first question, actually. The correct pronunciation of this. Okay, so he's going to be helping with that. I, I have tried. Um, the name is Bayak Tarovic. Uh, I hope I get it right. <laughs> Really, great, really surprised me. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with the coach Goran uh, Bayakterovic um, for our pre match press conference ahead of the game against Kumasiya Santikotoko tomorrow. Uh, coach will say something very, very brief and then we'll take as many questions as you would want to ask. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, guys. I'm happy to be here. First match, and you know, I mean, first match at home and uh, uh, immediately the most popular and famous club in Ghana. I mean, we don't have to talk about how many titles they won and we are, me and my players, we are really very happy that we, that we can play, that we can start at home against such a game, uh, opponent, sorry. <laughs> I'm mixing sometimes German and English. You can ask, and I hope I'll satisfy you with my answers. Okay, so uh, that was uh, the head coach. Uh, if you have any question, you raise your hand, I call you to ask a question. <coughs> Thank you. So, are we starting? Okay, here. My name is Steve Lewis from Ghana Television. Coach, uh, we saw your first game uh, at Dantzoma. You took a two-goal lead. Yeah. But after 90 minutes, you 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 drew. Um, have you worked on the, the fatigue level of your boys, and how ready are they to run with their Pokemon Warriors tomorrow? Yes, it's. Uh, I mean, good question. And you know, and you're right. It was a little bit uh, uh, unexpected after such a good first half. And uh, you know, second half in the beginning, we, we started, you know, like very compact the game, you know. That uh, we, uh, and after we scored 2 0, uh, that we, you know, brought back the opponent in the game. It was one situation uh, we could clear two times before we got the goal. But, in, you know, it's, it's, it's the, the result 2 0. When you lead to you know, and then if you if you get a goal, you know, uh, psychically the, the opponent has a advantage, and it's exactly what happened. Uh, good, okay. You have to understand too that uh, this team uh, didn't play before together. They are almost all players who just arrived, and uh, only one preparation period. It's not enough. Period. It's not enough uh, to to stabilize tactically the team. You know? It's uh, we need a little bit time for it. Uh, I think the problem was exactly in this in this point that we we are not like um, <coughs> tactically totally stabilized, and uh, because of it, you spend more power. You have to run more, you know, and then. Uh, we got a problem with uh, <coughs> with fitness a little bit, and our opponent scored two two. I think, and it is, uh, but we we work on it. We work on it, you know, very very intense o on both of both teams. Okay, Mr. Thank you. You mentioned that your your, your team is is, a, is a still a work in progress. Uh, you mentioned that tactically you're not stable yet. What, what sort of team are we looking at in the Gun Cities? Under your you know, guidance, of course, are we looking at a tactically dynamic team that you know, plays based on how the opponent plays or a team that has a specific tactical identity? Yeah, listen, um, always to talk about this, about it, it's like, like you know, we, we talk about future. You know. I know what I want, but it's not about what I want. It's about what's possible, you know. Uh, to to have a good team, it's always one uh, uh, together work between you know coach, co coach coaching stuff and, uh, and 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 players, and you know we can we can do we can work on it 
uh, uh, what's the best for this team, for these players we have. You know, I mean, it's, uh, people used to talk about systems. You know, like four four two, four two three one, four three three. I don't know. You know, uh, like what's the best system? The best system is this system. What your team can play the best. That's it. And uh, of course. Uh, now I'm still in one in one period of you know making diagnosis, you know, and when I'm finished with this, I'm, I, I I told you in the beginning in the first press conference what I had here, I told you I I, I need two three matches to to see really you know uh, all my players in different different situations you know how they uh, how they come through you know like uh, if, if they have a pressure if they have a uh, you know, one opponent who, who press high. If they have one opponent who, who play play a little bit more defensive and play a little counter attack, and all stuff like this, and then then I will be totally sure uh, what's the best way for our team. But now you know we are working on this uh, tactical basics, and physically we work. We starting now to work hard. And uh, I mean, I I don't want to say that they didn't work hard enough. Before no, but uh, now yeah, I'm concentrating on this that uh, that we get them in uh, much much better shape. You know that that they really uh, that they can play in wide one high uh, rhythm. You know over 90 minutes, but it's not easy. Normally for a job like this, you need eight weeks. You know to to improve fitness of the team to bring it on one one good level, you need eight weeks. It's physiology. You know. It's not like now you have to run. Or now there is one coach, you know, he has a nice smile, now you will run more. No, it's not. <laughs> and uh, I, I say, we will work hard on it. And the best thing is we know what happened and where we have a deficit. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Um, coach, my name is Benjamin Ozu. Um, I'm working with Africa Media Village. Um, coach, you are new in the system and after March you won. Um, how are you going to reach the Ghana Premier League in terms of um, its competitive seven? And also the second question is, um, how many goals are you expecting tomorrow? Um, the Royals, uh, how many goals are you expecting tomorrow's game against the Santa Excuse me, I, I, how many goals are you goals? expecting? Yes. I would be happy if we score five. <laughs> <laughs> I would wish it, you know. Can you imagine how nice it is, you know, against such a good opponent, you know, to score four or five goals? But, you know, I mean, okay, everybody can dream, me too. <laughs> uh, I cannot tell you this. Uh, you know, it's like, how many times did you see, you know, on the highest level in the world? Cristiano Ronaldo com comes to the goal, you know, two meters front of the goal and, and, and missed, you know, shoot. Uh, over the goal, or I, don't know. Uh, I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you this. Really. I mean, we will we will try to play uh, to score one goal more. But how many goals we will score, we'll see. It, it depends on our players. What's your play? First question. First question. Okay, can you can you go? Yes. Um, how are you going to reach the Ghana Premier League after match day one? You know, it's uh, Ghana. I, I follow this football, you know, here since 15 years for sure. I mean, now, of course, I cannot tell that I know everything about them. But, you know, I have great respect toward players from this country because Ghana had always really good, really good individual players. And, you know, at the end, the national team of Ghana was, you know, always. Uh, respectable team uh, in the World Cup and everywhere. You know, every, every teams knew when they play against Ghana, you know, everything can happen. Never mind if, if, if they play against Brazil, Germany, or Italy, or you know, who cares? You know, but because and that's that's how I see the teams and the league in Ghana. I respect it very much, you know, and I'm very careful uh, how I how I do my job <laughs> in this sense. Alright, right. My name is Daniel from TV TV. I'm coach, I believe you've heard of Kumasi Asante Kotoko, how little are, how are you living and how dangerous the threat are you to your team? Mm, uh, I uh, can you very Yes, of course, of course. I, I said
said that uh, we have a lot of respect toward our opponent, but you know, anyway, we want to be there. You know, because I'm I'm the sportsman, and every sportsman who goes in every football, who goes in the match, he wants to win. It means with respect, we know who is our opponent, and you know, but we want to be there exactly because of this reason, because they are so great. <laughs> you understand? And uh, we are, uh, I think, you know, that we are very good prepared for this. You know, we have uh, a lot of information, and we know, we know, you know, the strengths and you know, and weaknesses too from the Kokovo's players. And uh, anyway, I, I think it will be one very interesting match. Thank you, Ross. My name is uh, coach, I wanted to know your personal target for the Liverpool City says, Are you winning really like the leg for them? Can you win that in the prayer? You know, you know, it's, you know, target. Uh, it's, it's always a nice question. You know, I'm, if I would be in the witch or magic, you know, I could tell you <laughs> what we do. But I'm not, you know. Of course, it would be very nice to play so high the standing list as, a, as possible, you know. But you know, there are a lot of uh, things they make impact on this success. You know, how far you come. It's not just uh, what I want. Uh, every team, I'm sure, never mind which team you, you ask in the division, you know, they, all of them would like to be, to be the champion. It's, this is the, the most beautiful thing, you know, when you are champion of one country, you know. Especially, you know, I, I told you, one respectable football country like that. Uh, how far we come, it depends on a lot of things. I, I can promise you, I'll do my best to come so far, like it's possible. How far is it, we will see. It, would, it wouldn't be like serious and responsible if I tell you now, I don't know, we have a big but we will, we will try to do our best and I have very good atmosphere in the team, you know, I have a players who are really ready to do, do their best and, and they, they, they practice very hard, you know. And at this point I am very um, optimistic. Okay, let me come to the side of it. Yes, good job. <coughs> Face off on YC Media. Uh, two questions. What convinced you to take the job as a Lincoln City FC coach? Can you take one of them? Uh, what objectives were set by the board for you to meet by the end of the season? Uh, first question, you know, it's always when you when you talk about about job or not job, you know, you always care about uh, uh, what's the point, what what uh, what is all about, you know. You have one uh, one club, you know, uh, you know, pretty young board in the club. Uh, people who are very ambitious, you know, they have uh, very, very good plans, you know, after, it's my opinion. They want to, to build up something, you know, and uh, it's not just about, you know, we, we have to win, 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 win. No, you know, I mean, we made, uh, we, we are planning and we are making a lot of, uh, you know, social actions, like, like today, for example, you know, we visit one, house for, for children, you know, there are a lot of parents and a little bit, you know, disabled and, 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 and you know, and, uh, it's one very big social project and it's exactly this what football is, more than just a game, you know, and uh, for me personally, it's something what I, what I like a lot. This is the first question. The second question, you know, I talk too much and then I forget what you was <laughs> What were the objectives that were set for you to be better in the season? <sighs> yeah, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to answer. No, it's, it's like, like yeah, anyway, I come back always to the same, to the same thing. You know? uh, we have to try the best, do the best, and let's see what happens and what we can reach. And that's that's all what I you know because really I don't want to to talk like you know I do now I, I I make new football now in the world no it's not it's just 
because I know this business, I'm, I'm very careful when I say something about the future. Thank you. Sami? Samo from Platinum TV. Uh, Coach, we saw Fatal Dao that missing in game week one against Liberty. Are you looking forward to starting him tomorrow against Kotoko? Fatal Dao, the goalkeeper. <coughs> Yeah, that's uh, th this is something what we have a you know you, you can be sure you can go sure until the last training day it's today tonight we we don't know who really start the match against it. it's not uh, like you know phrase or just like I I'm, I'm hiding something no it's not it's really like this it's really like this. we we let players show their shape you know what 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 they what they can do for this team because i told the, the team is the star not the single players you know and that's why all of them they have to do their best to qualify for for the for the start start to lap that's it. and uh, i saw in the in the match against liberty you know good things uh, the last good things and we take all this with us you know this experience and then you know we compare this with the uh, um, with the performance in this week how the players how they practice and then we make decision you know, I sit with my colleagues together and you know we we change expressions and opinions and then we'll try to to make the best Start team for the for the game tomorrow. Okay. Any more questions? Okay. Hi, I'm Rory from Joy Sports. <coughs> I've been following your team I mean, for the past weeks, and uh, I've realized that the effect of your rebranding, especially when you've seen you invest a lot in terms of uh, you know your branding and your digital media space. I just wanted to know, looking at your Twitter account, for instance, your, your account has gained over 10,000 followers in just the past five days, which means that certainly there are more eyes on your team now, and people would be asking about your team uh, subsequently when matches are played. Do you think that that would put some pressure on your ears, uh, knowing that more people are more concerned about your results, and also how are you going to you know, help get to that? I think it's a question for you. <laughs> for him or for me? No, I, 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 you know, I, I have nothing to do with the Twitter. <laughs> I think you have an expert, you know, he can tell you this. Okay, so I, I, I just wish that everything was addressed to uh, the coach. I, I didn't want to speak here, but maybe for this question I would want to uh, chip in something. Um, for us, uh, it's great for us. Um, it's, it's very uh, nice to know that uh, what we're doing as a club is resonating out there and would love to see the numbers grow and even get uh, a lot uh, bigger and of course once the brand gets a lot bigger the expectations of any business or the expectations of any brand that is uh, supposedly doing very well and we would work very hard to translate all the attention that we've gotten off the pitch to performances off the pitch that i can say That's, excuse me i can i can say something because you know it's always like journalists you know and the coaches you always insist on the you know, pressure, pressure, pressure. Why? Yeah, we are happy to do this journey, you know. And if a lot of people are interested in this, what we do, we reach the point why we, why we do this, you know. And really, I don't feel like a pressure, you know. If now, if uh, uh, 300,000 people, if they follow this, you know, and, and they are interested in this, what we work, you know, I'm just a little bit more responsible to do my job seriously, you know, but I don't feel it as a pressure, you know. I, I think you you want a little bit to to address this on on, on this this part of Joe, like pressure. It's not a problem, really. I'm very I'm very happy that a lot of people are following this, you know, and that they they have interest in this what we do. It motivated us, you know. Okay, I'll probably take about one or two more questions and we're done. Any any other question? If if I would want to believe there is no question there. One final one. Okay, one final one, Hans. Um, you've mentioned how long you you need to you know be clear as to how the team is going to play, whether I mean tactically are going dynamic and respond to how teams play 
or whether you're going to pick an identity of your own in terms of how you play. What are the things that you've noticed, you know, about the individual players which will inform, you know, how your team plays? I mean, what are the strengths that you've noticed about your players early? Listen, I have to give you one compliment. You understand football. <laughs> you know, but those are exactly questions. Even if I know now, I wouldn't tell you this. Because we have cameras here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try anymore. <laughs> we'll, we'll drink coffee somewhere. I'll explain you, but you have to promise me you don't talk too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so um, if uh, there's no further question, I want to say thank you very much. And I will look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow. And hopefully, uh, Legon City FC gets a result tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.